Hey, Darlene, I'm glad you're here. This is what we're going to make today. We're going to go through the holiday catalog. We're going to do a little tour of what's um, retiring, what's on sale, what's while supplies last, what's unbundling. And then we're going to use Merry Little Labels, which is retiring. And we're going to make these gorgeous holiday tags. All right, we'll give everybody a minute to get in here. I'm going to set up my computer over here so I can see comments and grab my, look at this, this is what I have to share with you today. This is what I could find, quick. <laughs> it's going to be quite the retirement blowout party here. All right, let me move these aside for a minute. All right, if you haven't seen, Stampin' Up! announced the retirement list from the 2017 holiday catalog. That's this one right here. And bunches of stuff here is only available now while supplies last. There's some things that are on sale and there's some great stuff that is unbundling so you won't get the bundle discount anymore. So I thought we could walk through real quick um, and do a holiday catalog and then we'll get to crafting these little guys. All right, so this I think is the best holiday catalog I've seen from Stampin' Up! in a long time and I'm sad to see a lot of the stuff go but the good news is, is it makes room for new and exciting stuff. So the first thing I wanted to draw your attention to is the Season of Whimsy stamp set, the Hostess set. That one is only available with host credit, so you have to have a $150 order or party or more to get this stamp set, but this is your last chance. So that's the Season of Whimsy host set. Now on to Quilted Christmas. This suite was my favorite thing in the holiday catalog. Um, it's my favorite suite. I love the bright, um, you know, very traditional red and green colors, but with that pop of pool party and lemon lime twist, this just made me so happy. Let me show you a couple of samples here that I have. I didn't grab everything. I grabbed what I could find, but here's, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And this piece card with the cable knit embossing folder. And I did this kind of um, get well card with the quilt. I'm going to miss this. I was hoping that they'd come out with like a spring version that had baby options. It would be great for baby cards, but they didn't. They're retiring it. So the um, quilt builder framelits dies. That's one of the die sets I'm going to use today. I love the little holly leaves in here. I use them all the time. Um, the Christmas quilt stamp set. Those are available while supplies last. Um, stamp sets from Stampin' Up! will be available and guaranteed until the 21st of December, I think. But all the accessories, everything is um, while supplies last. So the um, designer series paper, that was my favorite one. I brought this out so I could show you something fun that I did with it. This is on the blog from the other day. It's a little K-cup tote. And this is the Christmas quilt paper in action. I love this paper pack. All right, the quilt top textured embossing folder, that's gonna carry over. Uh, the Ready for Christmas. This is a really fun bundle, and I was so tempted. I almost got it because I love this little wiener dog in a sweater. I keep asking my husband if he'll buy me a wiener dog. Um, but this Ready for Christmas is going to unbundle. So if you love this and you're going to get it anyways, it's calling out to you. You should get it before January 3rd because the bundle die with the um, Christmas staircase thinlets and the ready for Christmas stamp set 10% discount that's going away January 3rd. Good tidings, every good wish, and the season like Christmas stamp sets are all retiring. If you like good tidings, every good wish, the wood version of these stamp sets is on sale. Okay. Uh, let's see here. On to the mega sweet Merry Little Labels. That's what we're going to use today. I love this little set. It's retiring. You can bundle it up with the Everyday Label Punch, which is staying. Um, save 10% when you bundle the two. Something I wanted to show you, the Merry Little Christmas um, 12 by 12 cardstock pack. You get 12 each of Old Olive and um, Craft. And these are 12 by 12. They're going away. So if you like to collect the 12 by 12 and more than the assorted pack, two of each that Stampin' Up! offers, you might want to pick that up before it's gone. I believe Merry Little Christmas Designer Series paper is already sold out. Things sell out quickly once the retirement list is announced. 
um, Carols of Christmas and the card front builders are going away. This is a sample that I have with the uh, Carols of Christmas and the card front builders. I love the card front builder die with these um, evergreen trees and then the moon and the stars. Let me show you something else. I have it for another stamp set. I got this little moon and stars, like the negative space here. I love this die set for every day. This is not just a holiday set. So it does these fun little negative images that are good for anything. And then the pine trees, the little deer. My mother keeps using the little deer in like dioramas. And um, it, they're just, it's a really good versatile die set. And that is going away while supplies last. The acetate card boxes are carrying over. I'm excited for that. Um, jute twine is on sale while supplies last. And let's see here. What else is next? The Merry Little Christmas Memories and More card pack is going. This is retired and while supplies last, I think I need to get me one of these. I love this color combination. I am not scrapbooking like I should. All right. This tags and trimmings and trim your stocking. Um, thinlets is retired and while supplies last so you can grab those and they bundle up together I'm gonna use this trim your stockings on these tags I love this die set so if you look here this little like mistletoe leaf that's from trim your stockings so is the bell the little berries and the holly the bigger holly leaves the smaller ones are from the quilt builder uh, let's see here this gorgeous snowflake those are all from Trim Your Stocking. I keep going to this over and over again to embellish. Uh, let's see here. Again, Cherry Cobbler 12 by 12 card stock. That's going away. If you like the 12 by 12, grab that. Uh, let's see. What are the next samples that I have? All right. So Feeling of Christmas. The Wood Mount stamp set is on sale right now. The stamp set is going away. So is Christmas in the making. If you love to color this one with the new Stampin' Blends, would be so much fun. I wish that they introduced the Stampin' Blends earlier because this would have been a no-brainer for me. I would have bought this hands down if the Stampin' Blends were available at the same time, but now that it's at retirement, it doesn't make a good business sense for me. But if you're not in the business and you just love to color, this and the Stampin' Blends are awesome. Okay, best gifts. This one's retiring and well supplies last. Now, all of this is retiring, everything on these next two pages. This is Santa Paws and Beachy Little Christmas. These are retiring. Mistletoe Friends is retiring, and it's on sale while supplies last, both wood and clear mount. Uh, this page. Okay, so uh, Add a Little Glitz is retiring. Season of Glitz, Mini Gift Bows, Tinsel Trim Combo Pack, Old Olive Real Red Stampin' Markers. These are all on sale right now. So let me show you. We're using the tinsel on this tag. It's really a lot of fun. And you get both the red and the silver in the combo pack. Awesome. I highly recommend grabbing a couple of packs of those while it's on sale. Um, the Season of Glitz Little Mini Bows are adorable. And Old Olive and Real Red, they're colors that I use a lot from my Many Marvelous Markers. So you might pick them up while they're on sale to have either replacements or you know, just a lot of the same, um, the colors that you use a lot you might like to have a backup for so you can get them while they're on sale. Scallop Tag Topper Punch, we're using that today. That's from the annual catalog and the Glimmer Paper Stay In Too. All right, hang on just a second because my furnace just kicked on and that's going to be ugly. Okay, sorry. It sounds like sewing machine races when that thing gets going, but it's 19 degrees out here today. All right, the Christmas sweaters and Santa suit and the Santa builder framelits dies. Those are all while supplies last. Wishes All Aglow is while supplies last, but the wood mount is on sale. Uh, let's see here. Another one where everything's retiring. Wiseman from Afar and the Sugar Plum Dreams. Musical Season, Musical Instruments, they're all going. Musical Season and Musical Instruments are on sale. 
uh, let's see, another unbundle. All right, if you've had your eye on this Night of Bethlehem bundle, it will continue to be 10% off when you buy the Night of Bethlehem stamps and the Bethlehem edge, edgelet through January 3rd. So if you wanted those items, might as well get them now while they're discounted for bundling together. Christmas happiness is while supplies last. Christmas around the world. This suite has a few things that are on sale. It's all going away except for the 1 8 inch solid ribbon. But the lamppost then dies and the wood embellishments are on sale. Everything else is going away and while supplies last. I love this Christmas around the world designer series paper. Um, let me show you a couple of quick little things with that. Hmm. I was going to show you these with Merry Little Lantern, but I love the patterns in this. This pool party and basic gray snowflake is from this Christmas around the world. These, this plaid paper. There's some gorgeous plaids in that one. Um, here's another plaid from that Christmas around the world. Love it while well, supplies last. All right, let me. Darling Christmas is on sale and going away while supplies last. And so is Iconic Christmas. I was so tempted by this set because I love these little bits. I love that you can stamp them in to color them and it goes perfect with this little tag. But the tree itself overwhelms me a little, so I never got this one, but it's kind of cute. Sad to see it go. Um, Be Merry kit, this is retiring. Watercolor Christmas kit is also retiring. Watercolor Christmas kit is on sale and so is the wood mount stamp set. The um, clear mount is just while supplies last. And Snowflake Sentiments. This one is staying and it's unbundling. So this is my temptation right here. I had this on my wish list and never quite got around to ordering it. But January 3rd it will unbundle and the discount, the 10% discount will go away. It's got great greetings in it. Uh, Year of Cheer Suite is all going away except for the champagne foil. I'm glad that's staying there beautiful. Um, here's a pretty little sample with it. These metallic uh, foil snowflakes, gorgeous. You can't really, I don't think, get the beauty of them until you have them in your own hands. They're just a really great embellishment. You can cut them up into pieces and use half or a quarter so they go a long way. I love these metallic foil snowflakes. Um, Year of Cheer Designer Series paper. That's while well, supplies last. It's beautiful foil paper. Four designs, four of each. Gorgeous. I've got some more um, cards with that paper too in here. Look at this one. Isn't that great? And here's the little bursts. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, that's while supplies last. I'll try to show you those with their stamp sets too. Um, the embellishments, my favorite, this Winter Wonder. I forgot it on every order I placed. Never got around to it, and now it's going away. It's this beautiful snowflake embossing folder. Get that one before it's gone. I wish I did. Um, smitten Mittens. I love this. Right now you can get the Many Mitten, Mar the Many Mittens Framelits dies, the Smitten Mitten, 10% off without having to bundle them, or you can get the bundle for 10, or save 10%. Here's a card that I did with this one. It's got the Quilted Christmas Designer Series paper and the mittens. Um, these mittens make the cutest penguin you ever saw. Maybe I'll think about that for next week, Facebook Live. Um, hearts Come Home. I have not played enough with this. I love this stamp set. And it's sticking around. And so are the um, edgelets, which are just so versatile. Look at the samples even in the, look at that in the catalog. Isn't that gorgeous with just the white silhouette? Okay, so these are sticking around, but July, or excuse me, June, <laughs> June, July. I'm in summertime mode. January 3rd, the bundle discount goes away. Uh, seasonal lanterns. This was a favorite of mine. I did a tutorial with this one. My friend Sandy and I put this together. And if you made a purchase from me last month, you'll get the tutorials for these cards in your mailbox. I give a gift with purchase three tutorial set 
to all of my customers who purchase any amount every month. And it's just a different tutorial set every month. So if you don't have a demonstrator you love, um, just know that any order placed online or in person from me and you get a tutorial each and every month. It's like a three card class that gets delivered right to your mailbox. All right, so that's the beautiful seasonal lantern and the lantern builder framelits. Oh my fun three dimensional products, projects, Batman. This lantern die set is great for building little treat boxes. And if you have the oh so succulent, the little succulent plants from the last occasions catalog, this makes a fantastic terrarium. Um, Cherry Chirps is going away. This is another one that would have been fantastic with the Stampin' Blends. Hug in a Mug is While Supplies Last. Half Full is going to carry over. I'm so glad this is carrying over because I just never quite got around to ordering that one either and I've wanted it. Um, Season to Sparkle and the Chandelier Thinlets dies. Those are While Supplies Last. The little things and um, this one is retiring and the wood mount is on sale the 3x3 envelopes and pizza boxes those are carrying over that's exciting because those are real versatile festive phrases is retiring and it's on sale I think this guy's just adorable and I do like how it's got Halloween Christmas and Valentine's all in one set great for making treats uh, labels to love. This was a favorite of mine this year, and I love the Everyday Labels Punch. This one is carrying over. I'll show you this again. This is the Every, the Labels to Love, and this is this month's tutorial. This is the Labels to Love. When you purchase from me in December, you'll get a Labels to Love tutorial. I don't know where the other card is, honestly. Sometimes I surprise myself with where I put things, but. That's labels to love. We're going to use the Everyday Label Punch today. Mary Cafe coordinates with the Coffee Cafe. I love this set. If you're a coffee lover, grab this one before it's gone. Let me show you what I did. This is, video is going to go on the blog really soon. So I found these really cute eggnog coffee candles, eggnog latte coffee candles at my Dollar Tree and made this fun little box. It's a design that I slightly modified from one I saw on Facebook and then used the cup of Christmas cheer and made a little gift card holder. So it's a gift card holder like the espresso cup is where you can slide a little gift card right in the belly band behind. And here's that bell again from Trim Your Stockings that we're going to use today. So that's a fun little, if you're a coffee lover, grab this one to go with your coffee cafe bundle. Um, Wonderful Life is retiring and the seasonal chums is unbundling so if you are you know kind of looking at these cuties and you haven't gotten them yet pick it up for the discount while you can it's a really fun set I showed you this one this was my tutorial for September I believe and then there's this little sample here's another and then here's another one that I did with the deer, little Rudolph. Aren't they cute? It's a cute stamp set. Great for treats, too. I don't have any treats left from this one. Halloween's long gone, and the treats go so that they don't get stale. Um, Painted Harvest. It's unbundling. If you don't already have Painted Harvest, this is a great one to have. Here's some with the um, Painted Autumn Designer Series paper. The leaf punch is carrying over. So are the stamps, but you can't get the 10% off after January 3rd. This one, um, what else did I want to tell you about this one? The cardstock pack, the designer series paper, those are retiring, but the stamps and the punch are going to carry over. This was my favorite thing, I think, in the catalog second to um, the quilt, Quilted Christmas. This Pick a Pumpkin was so much fun to play with. That you can get it bundled with the pattern pumpkin dies and save 10%. And here's a couple of little samples. Again, these are, this one's from a tutorial that I sent out, gift with purchase. Isn't that a cute little card? Okay, and then here's one that goes back to that coffee cafe again, sending love with a pumpkin latte. This was a thank you card I did back in the August, I think, for my customers. 
All right, so that's Pick a Pumpkin. Love that. It's going away. Um, Gourd Goodness and Count My Blessings. Also retiring and while supplies last. We're getting to the end here. Um, Spooky Cat. Spooky Cat is retiring and while supplies last. So are the treat tubes. Um, again, 12 by 12 cardstock. If you like multiple sheets of one color, 12 by 12 pumpkin pie. Grab it while you can. Um, Black Rhinestones Vintage cr Crochet Trim and Spooky Night Designer Series paper, paper all going away. But the cat punch is staying. So I'm wondering if Stampin' Up's got something up their sleeve for another um, cat set. But here's a couple of cat things that I did. If you like the, um, the Spooky Cat stamp set, you might as well grab it in the bundle with the punch, which is sticking around, and save 10%. It's This cat punch is definitely good for more than just Halloween. This one's kind of a Valentine's-y. Life feels empty without you. And then here's the witch's hat. And then the sentiment is from Creep It Real. I did so much with Creep It Real. This one's going away. But it's Halloween, so all the treats are gone. Couldn't find too much to show you. But that's Creep It Real. And then Graveyard Gate. That's retiring, and so is the Detail Gate Thinlets. All right, so that's all the great stuff. I'm sad to see it go. There's so much good stuff in here. There's still stuff that I didn't even get the opportunity to order. Oh, I've got two more little things that I want to show you. Here's a Smitten Mittens cookie tote. I was just kind of bored with all the red and green, so I went, I went a little neon. I thought that would brighten anybody's day, and it's good for winter holidays, especially if you don't know what somebody's celebrating. And here's another... Um, labels to love with the everyday labels punch and these are from the trim your stockings die that we're going to use today when we make these which we'll do in just a minute we're going to make these all right so if you're just joining us we did a catalog tour i'll archive that so you can see what's on sale and what's staying and what's going and what you should get while it's still bundled that kind of stuff and we'll get ready and make these now all right let me clear away my mess my goodness and I was scrambling around looking for things to show you, samples made with the holiday catalog stuff, and thought, oh my goodness, I didn't hardly get enough stuff. There's got to be more. We covered quite a bit, didn't we? All right, this one one more time. I'm going to reach around and put it in the box behind me. That'll be on the blog either today or Monday. Okay. Okay, guys, so the... Supplies that you need to make the tags include Merry Little Labels from the Holiday Catalog. I've got the Everyday Label Punch and the Scallop Tag Topper. I've got a two inch circle punch and the Starburst Punch. Stamp and Write Markers in Real Red and Tranquil Tide. Basic black stampin' pad. I've got some trims here. I've got this um, Emerald Envy seam binding, crinkled seam binding. The mini sequin trim in silver. I've got the very last piece of my trim. Um, what is this thing called? Tinsel trim. The one that's on sale right now. I'm so sad. I'm thinking about buying more. Don't tell. Uh, I've got the Silver Baker's Twine that's coming in the Occasions catalog. So this will be available on January 3rd. I almost said June 3rd again. I don't know what my problem is today. Maybe it's the 19 de degree weather. It's frozen my brain. All right, my consumables. I've got lots of scraps. I just pulled them from the bin. Real Red, Whisper White, lots of Silver Foil. Some Diamond Glimmer, Tranquil Tide, and then these pieces for the base of my tag are from the Mary Music Designer Series paper. That's going away. And we're going to punch the top of those with the tag topper. A little tag got stuck in there. All right, there it is. Now I'll do a little more punching while we're at it. I'm going to do both of these at one time, I think. Can you follow along if I do them both at one time? 
Now I'm going to punch a two inch circle from Tranquil Tide. And that one, you know what I'll do to help it? As you're watching, I'll do like this, see? So that's for this one, that's for this one, that's for this one. And I'll just put my pieces there so you can see what's for what. All right, so there's my Tranquil Tide. Now I'm going to punch from Real Red, the Everyday Label. That's for this one, and I'm also going to punch one from the Silver Foil. We're doing two tags at once. We're really getting our holiday crafting done now. All right, this one would be beautiful on a card, this one on a package. Um, let's see here, what else since we're punching? We need the Starburst from the Silver Foil. So we're going to pop that out. That's for this one. Now, next up is going to be some stamping and then we'll die cut. So, I have, very simple, this Let It Snow and this For and From, and they're all blocked up. Let me show you what I did with these. I have a little roll of washi tape somewhere here, I think. Ah, here we go. And what I did was find the end. It's easier when I'm not on video. All right, so. <laughs> it's times like this when I need an assistant. I can just say, hey, will you pull that end for me while I do something more interesting? <laughs> All right, I think we've almost got it. Who knew? You know, it never gives me trouble when you guys aren't watching. All right, so we'll use that to hold our dies in a minute. So I'm going to pull off just a little piece and cover the holly on this for and from. And now we have a for and from stamp that is good for any season, any occasion which I think is really awesome. I love a good multitasker. And this stamp set with the Just For You and the For and From, when you mask off those little hollies, is great for anything. You could also do special delivery and mask off from the North Pole, and that'd be pretty cute too. All right, stamping. I need my stamping pad. I've just got the basic black for this one. And I'm going to, on my Whisper White, scrap here. I'm going to ink up in basic black and stamp my Let It Snow. And I want a nice crisp black image, so I'm going to let it sit for a second and then lift. Now, this for and from that we've masked, we're going to ink in the basic black. Make sure we get a good strong black ink, and then we'll peel off the washi tape. Let me get rid of that so I don't get ink all over anything. Now I've got my Real Red Stampin' Right and my Tranquil Tide Stampin' Right. I'm going to open those up the brush point and then I'm going to color the holly details back on. So I'll get the little berries. This is really hard to do with the camera in the way. I hope it looks right. But you get the idea, right? So we'll color those berries. Hmm. I think that's pretty good. And then we'll do the same with the leaves. Ink that up with the brush side of the marker. And then before you stamp, you want to huff on this so that the warm wet from your breath will kind of reactivate the inks. So, all right. Now we'll stamp that one on the Whisper White as well. Ta-da! Not too bad, especially for having done it on video. All right, cover these guys up. And we're gonna go back to punching before we get to die cutting. Hmm, here it is. Everyday label punch. And we wanna get, let it snow. Now there's just the tiniest border of white, so take your time and make sure it's even. You'll thank yourself later if you take your time. And then, for and from. And there they are. I love this stamp set. Hmm. 
Okay. Now, I'm going to slide all the pieces aside for a minute and grab my die cuts and my Big Shot. Got my Big Shot all set up for die cutting. So I've got my platform and my thin die adapter and a cutting pad. Okay, let me get these guys. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the tags in for you, but I'll show you as I go. I'm gonna cut quite a few little pieces and I'm gonna try to cut as many as I can in one pass because that's a fun game that I like to play. So I've got, if you guys saw the mess I was working in, woo wee. So it put down the little snowflake that's from this Trim Your Stockings die set. It also makes this great little three-dimensional pillow box, stocking pillow box or plain pillow box. Great die set. And then I've got this little leaf here from that same set. We're going to cut those with glimmer paper. And then I've got the little holly leaf from Quilt Builders, and we're going to cut those. We're going to need two. We'll cut an emerald envy. I've got the smaller little holly from Trim Your Stocking and some Tranquil Tide. This little, I don't know, I call it the Lego piece because it looks like a Lego to me. I'm going to cut this one with some real red and that'll give us our little holly berries. So get that guy on some real red. And then here's my bell. I love this die. I've been using this like crazy. I can't even stop myself. And let's see, I was looking for a little piece because the foil paper loves to get all scarred when it goes through the big shot from the cutting pad, so I'm just going to cut a little piece off and put my bell. Alright, I think that's about as many as we're going to get through on this pass. So I'm going to put my top on and give it a crank. Because I've got this little glimmer paper on the end here, I'm going to crank it both ways so that I can really cut through there. All right, if you're just joining us, I just saw our numbers go up. I'll show you the project we're making in just a second. We're doing some die cutting for this for these really great holiday tags. All right, so we've got one holly leaf. We need two. We've got one of these, and we need two. So I'm just popping out the good one and putting it down another. A cute little bell. Look at this. You're just going to love that. Isn't that adorable? Hi, Linda. It's good to see you. Yeah, definitely go back and grab the replay. I also did a little holiday catalog tour with lots of samples. Fun stuff that I've done. Mostly of my tutorials that are for um, my customers. Gift with purchase tutorials. But I showed some other projects too. A sneak peek of my next blog post and a couple other things, some real creative stuff. So yeah, definitely grab the replay. But let me show you what we're making now. See, we're making this little set of tags for the holiday. I'm doing the die cutting right now. Aren't they beautiful? They're a little busy, but sometimes I get it a little busy. Just how I roll. All right, so we're going to have to go another pass through here and get the rest of the dies cut. Um, there. Now this little snowflake, this is all always kind of fun to get out of there. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. You can check out the replay and see the whole the whole video. But we're still just doing the die cutting, all the assemblies left, so you'll get the gist of it. I'm glad you're here. All right. Isn't this beautiful? Look at that. 
Now I want to cut one of those from silver foil too because if one's good, two's better, right? Sometimes that's how I stamp. So I'm going to put that back on there. <laughs> I think that a little heart came across the screen when I said if one's good, two's better. <laughs> Are you guys that kind of stamper too? Okay, so let me show you what we've got here. We're going to be done with our holly on this next pass. We've got this little um, mistletoe leaf and we've got our bell. So our die cutting on this pass will be done for that one. We've got the little um, glitter snowflake and we're going to do the silver one. Now I need a little tranquil tied leaf and then we'll be done with the die cutting for this one. I did this heart ahead of time with the heart die from a mini treat bag. I don't know if they're framelits or thinlets, sorry. But they're already cut because I had a bunch of them. All right, I need one more little piece of tranquil tide and we'll get the show on the road here. So there's a little tranquil tide scrap. We're gonna do this little like mistletoe branch. All right, last pass. Not too bad considering how um, embellished they are. Two passes through the machine, not too bad. All right, that's it. Let's get the big shot out of here. I'm gonna just drop my dies down here when I can't find them later. You guys, remind me what I did with them, okay? All right. And out of the way. Back into the mess over here. Oh my, if you guys saw what it looked like around here. Well, it looks pretty crafty. All right, so this is what we're doing. And this is what we're doing. And back to our little piles. So here's our pieces. And here's our pieces for this one. Now let's sort out these die cuts. And then we can assemble. It's a little bell. And some holly. We gotta get these other two out of the die. Got a magnet over here to drop them on. It doesn't always mean that I don't lose dies. I still tend to lose them but it helps. I got a great big magnetic vent cover that I keep right next to me all the time. All right, so there's our little leaves. Here's our berries. And the little frosted, I think that looks like mistletoe. What do you think? Here's our snowflakes. And this little mistletoe dude. And let me grab a heart. Ta-da! These are the hearts that I cut from the mini treat bag. It's one that's got like eight hearts in a row, so it punches a bunch of them all at one time. I like to kind of keep them on hand because I use them a lot as embellishments. All right, I'm going to get some adhesives here. I've got some snail and uh, some dimensionals. Look at these dimensionals. I've really used them up. All right, let's start with this little let it snow one first and we're just going to cut off the edges of the real red label here and add a little bit of snail then we're going to put these inside the silver label you want to watch and make sure that your border is pretty equal. Okay, feel pretty good about that. So then we'll go down the center here and snail that to our tag. Could go a little bit to the left here. There we go. Now I've got the beautiful tinsel trim. Let's put that from back to front. Pull that through. You'll have to pull gently here because this um, specialty designer series paper is a text weight paper. So don't pull too hard. Be patient and gentle. All right, then my 
crinkled seam binding ribbon. While we're at it, we'll just tie two bows. So I'm going to loop over my finger. See, I got a nice long tail. Up and around. And then pull through. Hold the center knot here. And pull the tails so you can shape the bow. I'm going to do that twice. Do you guys make gift tags? How many of you actually make your gift tags? I don't make gift tags unless I'm putting a gift in a bag and taking it somewhere. For my children, they each get a different um, holiday wrapping paper. So I'll buy three tubes of Christmas paper that all have the same colors in them, but very different patterns. You know, one might get stripes, one might get Santas, one might get ugly sweaters. And they all, all their stuff is in the same pattern paper. So that's how they know their gifts. But if I take something and put it in a bag, I'll add a beautiful little tag to it. Okay, where did I put our little punch outs? So here's our Let It Snow punch out. And I want to use the edge of my dimensional here. And I'm going to add quite a bit of it because we're putting it on a paperweight tag. So we want to kind of reinforce. So I used a little bit more than usual. Hmm. Linda says, did you do the video for the box with the topper punch? Um, was it one of the samples that I just showed today? Um, let me see, was it this box or where's the other little box, this box? Or, hmm, got to tell me which box. Oh, today in the video. Nope, just the tags today. But if you're looking for something else that I showed you. Ah, this one. This first one. Good. Okay, we, now we know. This is on the blog from yesterday. So if you go to kitchentablestamper.com, the top post will be this box. And it holds the K-cups. Of course, you could put anything you like in there. But I've got Junior Mint's Hot Cocoa. All right, so we're getting there. We're almost one tag down already. They go pretty quick. Let me grab some glue dots and we'll get our embellishments on there. So first I'm going to, oh, my pleasure. The video is there and so is the project sheet. So I've got one little snowflake and my Emerald Envy bow. I'm gonna glue the bow to the snowflake. And then with a glue dot, I'm gonna glue this whole contraption right to the tag. And you want to be careful that you get it on the tag and not in the little hole, which I did last time and glued it right to the tablecloth. It was pretty awesome, as far as awesome goes. <laughs> All right, so there. Now another quick little embellishment. I am going to grab my dimensional and I need just a little piece. So I got half one here that I'm even going to cut a little bit more narrow. I'm going to put dimensional in the center and add that so that it goes the other way from the silver. So see, we got silver, white, silver. And then this other bit, bitty piece of dimensional, I'm going to put that on the back of the heart. And put that in the center. Now, because I like the um, two different shades of green, I think it adds something. I'm going to take this little mistletoe dude, snip off the stem because it's pretty long, and I'm going to grab a little glue dot and then fold it underneath, and then I'll just tuck that in. There it is, it just adds a little dimension with the Tranquil Tide on the Emerald Envy. All right, 
So there's our first tag. All right, let's slide these guys aside and let's finish this one. This is like a two for today. I was feeling crafty. Uh, look at my little holly berries all stuck to my snail. All right, Tranquil Tide, add some snail to the back and center it in the starburst circle. I see little hearts floating across. Thank you. You guys are awesome. All right. Then we'll add the silver circle to our tag. Now I want to add my for and from. So I'm going to grab some dimensionals and I'm going to grab the edge again because I like the edge for stuff like this. We're going to finish up this pack of dimensionals on this video today. All right. Okay. Let's peel that off of there and put it on our tag. Okay, now I have this piece of silver and white baker's twine, and what I'm going to do is just thread the little bell on there. I'm going to end up putting it on with a glue dot once it's done, but I don't know. I think that it should hang from something, so that's what I'm going to do. Yes, Linda, I do YouTube videos. I archive this one on YouTube. But I also do lots and lots of other things. Just look for kitchen table stamper. Um, or you know what? If you go to the blog to see that little K-cup tutorial, um, you can click on the little YouTube link in the right sidebar, and that'll take you right to my channel. Okay, so now I've got the bell on the twine and the twine through the tag. I'm just going to bring the little tails through. Yeah, go check them out. There's hundreds of videos there. And then we'll pull that up. Now I'm going to tie another little bow here. I should have had this one done ahead of time, but I'm telling you, I was running around trying to find cute samples to show you from the holiday catalog. There's too much good stuff going away. If you hadn't had a chance to place an order from the holiday catalog yet, go check it out. Stuff's on sale, stuff's on bundling, and if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you love and you order from me, then I will send you the Labels to Love gift with purchase tutorial by email. All right, so there's our little Emerald Envy bow again. Let's get a glue dot on the back of it. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? That's right, we'll do them both at the end. I forgot to put my little silver tinsel. What's that stuff called? Not the silver tinsel, the little sil silver sequins. All right, so there's our bow and our bell. Got a half a dimensional here, so I'm going to put some dimensional behind the bell so that it sticks up over the ribbon. Otherwise, the ribbon kind of takes it over. There. Now, let's build a little holly embellishment here. Okay, so my little leaves of holly from the quilt builder, I'm going to roll those up a bit. Just give them some dimension. These are Emerald Envy. And then I'm going to glue them to the bigger holly leaves. And those are from trim your stocking. So we're going to end up with kind of a dimensional little leaf there. See? The glue stuck to my finger and I dragged it away. Alright, so there's one and two. Then I'm going to put a little bit of glue in the center and glue them together. 
and where they come together in the middle. Three little dots of multi-purpose liquid glue. And then we'll pick up the little berries and drop them in. Ah, did you see that? I pushed it right out of the glue instead of pushing it into the glue. Mm. Live videos. You see everything, warts and all, even when I keep taking the berries out of the glue. That's all right, though. It's a cute tag. We'll get there, right? All right. Now I'm going to shorten the stem on this one. It's kind of like a mistletoe. And put glitter side down into a glue dot and pick it up. And we'll tuck it right behind the holly. Good. I'm going to take two little glue dots on the back of the holly and add them to the tag. All right, last thing for both of these guys, let's get them both back in here. I have this mini um, sequin trim. There it is, I lost it for a minute. And I'm gonna cut a few pieces that are just a couple of inches long for each. So, I'll grab, what is that? Maybe an inch, inch and a half. And I just fold it, grab a glue dot with it and then find a cute little place to tuck it in. See how cute that is? Just adds a little extra sparkle. All right, another one. That one I'll do. Same thing over here. We're gonna grab a little glue dots, fold it in half, and then tuck it in. I'm gonna tuck this one in right behind that leaf. See? I'm going to do two for each tag. All right. So that's it. Anybody got any questions about the holiday catalog, the retirement list and sale? Anything that I can do for you? Anything I can do to help you stay crafty? Any questions about the tags, the projects we did today? I'll make sure that I get a project sheet up on the blog for you. KitchenTableStamper.com um, but probably not until Monday. I have my last craft fair um, tomorrow at Fromd High School in Palatine. So if you're local, come on out and see me at Fromd High School. I'll be upstairs. Look at that. There it is. Oh my goodness, I love them. They're so festive. Hey, thanks. I just saw a heart float by. Thank you very much. All right. One more little sequin trim and then we're off. It's like 20 degrees here today and I made soup last night. I can't wait to go get some. Thanks for spending your lunch time with me. I hope if there's anything Stampin' Up! I can do for you, you'll email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. All right, one more bit of sparkle because enough is not enough. And there they are. Pick yourself up some of this tinsel trim while it's on sale before it's gone. Comes in the real red and the silver all in one pack. On sale right now, don't let it go. All right, Marissa at kitchentablestamper.com if you've got questions to order your Stampin' Up! for the supply lists and project sheets for anything you see here on Facebook Live, kitchentablestamper.com. All right, guys, thanks for spending your Friday with me. Have a great weekend. Look at those little hearts. Thank you. I love it. I hope you liked the tags today. They've been in my brain for a while. I needed to get them out.